Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let It Die today. We are finally, uh, oh god, <laughs> this is a story and a half. So, a long, long, uh, long ago, <laughs> we actually made the choice to level up a weapon that I was, I just really enjoyed, frankly. I like the way it was based around and it's mechanically and whatnot. Uh, but I, I really like the weapon. It's called the Armor Breaking Flail. It is the mace-like weapon. Uh, I know it's a flail or whatever, but still, it's a, it's a mace-like weapon. I think it would be what everyone understands it from. But, uh, yeah, it does a ton of damage. It's also mechanically really clever to where you basically prime up an attack. Um, and then your timing is whenever an enemy is about to attack you, you can attack them and you'll initiate a perfect guard, which will send them kind of heathing back. Um, as well as this thing has a ton of hit hitting power, so it knocks enemies back and all these other things, as well as um, it has an alternative mode, which has crazy range, as well as this just has crazy range in general. Um, and yeah, it was just a weapon I really, really wanted. But with it being a one-handed weapon, I had the decision to say, well, what is this thing's counterpart? What do I use in place of, uh, of the other stuff? Like, what is this going to help it? Uh, so I came to the conclusion that it was Medusa's Head, uh, a weapon that is benefits from a striker class, so a strength-based character. Uh, and this is a, of course, it's a massive damage hitting melee weapon, so it plays off strength as well. So these both play off strength. Um, also, it poisons enemies so that they'll heave over puking, except they kind of change that to where the AI is not that stupid anymore, which is shitty. Uh, but yes, that is the plan. That was the objective. But then it sent me on my course to level up this damn thing. Which, holy crap, do the TDM weapons take forever to upgrade. They are, like, the most painstaking thing ever. Like, all of that is every single upgrade tier ever, if not more. Uh, so it's like, hey, you need six walnut. You need so-and-so blue metal. You need uh, reversal metal. You need a, a red metal when it's only at tier two or something. Cra yeah, it gets crazy. And it, it asks for things that all over the spectrum. So you need to start level jumping like seven different ways. <laughs> and it's a lot. Okay, it's a lot. Also, why not do this? Is that smart? So I'm just saying that Candy Wolf is the Bose faction tier, so yeah. But anyways, the final objective uh, for completing this thing was me getting my hands on special steel, which as you guys, as you guys can see, it asks for four of. Uh, uh, and I only needed one because I happened upon three uh, through like reward bags and stuff like that. But oh my god, did this st uh, store not sell them for ages. And finally it did. So then I made it. That was yesterday. Uh, now we have it. Uh, the reason why I was delayed, delaying making this video is because this is, I don't know what you want to call it, Generation 1, or my preferred character build class, whatever you want to call it, um, is again with this armor set that I currently have on right now, which buffs, um, gives me a little bit more resistance to sharp, a little more resistance to uh, uh, blunt, as well as a neutral to guns. That's less good with how strong the Kamas is, but still. Um, and then we're kind of jumping around in terms of negatives with our elemental stuff, but what can you do? Also, I really like the way this thing looks, and as it all comes together, I just think it looks absolutely sick with the like the Japanese awesome pants, the rogue lag laggings, uh, as well as the, uh, what do you call it, the chest piece. I could do without the weird clown on the on the shoulders but you know <laughs> you take what you can get and also it matches so it's blue as well as red as well as gold um but the only shitty thing is is that these are not faction specific so these are this is milk this is candy wolf and then my glasses which are kind of i'm up in the air about they could introduce another type of like helmet and i'd be open <laughs> to changing but anyways uh the glasses look dope as well as uh they're a little bit leveled up they're not quite up there in fact what do the glasses cost again to upgrade oh wow we can actually do that like, like really do that? Okay, <laughs> we just need mineral oil. Oh, which is why I actually, uh, damn it, I despawned that by accident. Dropped it in the waiting room thinking I didn't need it, and now it's no longer there. But, in this video, we're going to be seeing if it all can come together by uh, hitting bosses. Uh, we're kind of doing an update video on the flail as well. The only th shitty thing is, is there's not that much that can buff the flail, but with that being said, it's already really good. Uh, and can cut through most things, at least in my experience. But if we go to the checkout lineup, I think it has, they've added at this point, the Flail's Addictive uh, Decal. So it does like 40 or 20 more damage. I can't see it. There it is. <laughs> the Flail. The, uh, it does 30 more uh, attack damage. Some, I think, do like 40. I think? Right? Okay, maybe not. Maybe it's always 30. <laughs> but anyways, the 30 extra uh, attack damage is awesome if you're able to get this. But it's a rare drop, and you know how Decals can be. 
<laughs> but yeah. Um, I don't think there's anything that can play off of that just yet. Yeah, chain chain sump plus that. Does that do anything special? Increases speed of stamina consumption for dashes and stamina consumption to dodge. What's the difference between a dash and a dodge? I don't know what that is. <laughs> what? Um, but yeah, that's the only thing that I think you can really benefit from. Again, I really, really hope at some point they introduce something um, that is similar to Barbarian, where Barbarian just on a passive gives you, uh, what is it, like uh, 20 extra damage just for using a two-handed weapon. I really hope there's at least one that's like gives you 10 um, extra damage uh, just for using a one-handed weapon um, without having to use the like exact same... There it is right here. <laughs> uh, there's this one, which gives you 20% more damage, and you can get a... A premium and a, a normal version of this which will give you 40 extra damage um, whereas this one it increases your attack by 10 uh, when using the same weapon in the offhand so it's just like why does that specific using the a duplicate weapon in your offhand need to be the thing um, it just kind of makes one hand weapons seem like they can never be as strong as as two handed weapons because of just that one perk just barbarian feels bad anyways <laughs> uh, let's go to who do we need to fight I mean, I think, uh, what do you call it? The bow is technically considered a, uh, um, Gato, uh, candy wolf weapon, I think. Is that right? Yeah, no, it gives it the bow. It's medieval, is the uh, things. <laughs> yeah. So it's a, it, it costs candy wolf, so let's go kill Gato, even though we killed him a thousand times. But at this point, we've killed everyone a thousand times. Uh, let's also kill Cohen. Uh, but with bosses, that's the weird thing. The flail is not like the boss slayer weapon, albeit it's good. It's not that. It's it's mentally, at least for me, I find it to be really, really good when it comes to one-on-one -on -one encounters. But, I don't know, man. There's still, like, the problem where, like, this weapon is amazing for, like, melee weapon stuff, but it completely gets shattered if, if you happen to see a Kamas, like, to try to figure, like, because it requires you to have a window opportunity to wound up when i don't know and maybe medusa's head that was the idea but medusa's head is not that strong um yeah and the poison effect again doesn't always trigger the vomit cycle which is what you're hoping for because that will put them in a state where they can be hit but yeah yeah that's the weird part <laughs> that's the one where i'm like eh, it'd be nice if i don't even know this weapon just may be always trash against guns because even if they mentioned like a burst to the kamas or the uh uh what is it called the weapon that like became really good recently it's like the uh, crossbow. The crossbow, just because it's got good range, and it, it if it hits you and it crits, whoo, you are dead. <laughs> you are dead so quick. But yes, if I could have it my way, um, I would love to level this thing up to high hell, because I just like the aesthetic look, and it's, you know, it's kind of just my armor. When we went to the uh, horror show of having to leave behind our armor, this one was here for me. Also, a large bit of healing, or not healing, sorry, XP, which is good for my uh, dummy... Uh, Collectors that I have. Hello, Gato. Haven't seen you in about three weeks or so. <laughs> Hello. Oh, he actually dodged that. Not bad. Yeah, see, we almost one shot Gato with a one handed weapon. Bang. That, with that being said, though, we also all, we all have, uh, <laughs> we have the entire mastery maxed down on it. But, we almost killed him. I'm not even sure if we crit, but that's just. Again, maybe that's why <laughs> they're like, we can't increase, we can't give one-handed weapons that much damage because they maybe normalized it, but it doesn't feel like that way. With mean, that being said, we did, again, just almost one-shot <laughs> the boss, so, I mean, maybe. Um, Medusa's head, again, doesn't come into bosses at all. She's just terrible. <laughs> she doesn't deal that much damage. Um, so, yeah. Maybe this weapon is good for bosses because not even my hockey stick does that, you know? <laughs> Jesus. Also, the weapon is mega durable, which is awesome. Also, if you're able to really time that, like, perfect parrying thing, uh, even a shitty one will become good just because you can keep cycling into what like what makes it good in the first place like uh, the, the, Just because it knocks them back um, And yeah, also that's another thing sometimes if you if you hit them the right way or something they'll fall on their on their head And then you can counter or you can follow that up with the a smash to the ground Which is good too, uh, but with that being said I think I think specifically Gato is weak to blunt which this thing is all blunt so let's go fight Cohen who I don't I think is neutral to it but I'm not, I'm not sure <laughs> I think that's how it works also I think Cohen is up right yes also uh, some some positive things is I finally finally got this thing to ship so you guys know how a lot like a while back when I was making try not to grin videos and all those things which I still am I'm loving it to pieces by the way you guys are amazing over the discord <laughs> uh, but 
uh, what do you call it? In uh, in doing that, I came to the assumption that I was like, okay, well, I can't film this on the webcam because it just looks kind of brutal. It just the webcam doesn't handle light well at all. Uh, so I was like, you know what? Uh, what do you call it? Uh, I've been doing videos for a while, and my what do you call it? I just have the ad rev or whatever going into a PayPal. So it, throughout the course of like three years, it built up enough money. So I was like, oh, I could buy a camera that's pretty okay. Uh, which I was like, awesome. So I spent it on that, and I love it. I think it's really cool, and it's, I actually just enjoy cameras in general. But um, in order for, to make the camera a DSLR, my webcam basically, uh, I needed a bunch of stuff. So I went and bought all that stuff so that I could talk to my computer the same way a webcam would. But um, this little piece that basically, like, so I was able to, I had everything but the one piece to, to unlock it all. It was the component that allowed it to talk to my computer. And oh my god, uh, what do you call it? I all the stuff came from Amazon, the cords that I needed, but lo and behold, that one key to the puzzle, uh, was I had to back order it because it, no website had it for whatever reason. Uh, it's called an Elgato Cam Link, but holy shit, it was like far gone. Like, I, 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 I looked ev at every possible website and nothing. Oh, also, you have a sniper. Ooh, how do I miss? How did I miss that? How do you get me in the air? We're getting shot to shit. We gotta be careful. Boom. Yep, but that's the thing. It's good for one-on-one, -on -one, but when people start stacking up like that, it gets a bit janky. I know I can reach it from there. Oof, also, it's fast enough to where you can do stuff like that. Ooh, a golden egg again. Boom, you can't roll away from me. So yeah, again, the weapon is, is well, I've been using my hockey stick for an eon, so I need to get, like, pay attention on what, because that's what's awesome about melee and the let it die, is that, like, and it's to, like, a Dark Souls level of, like, cleverness, to where if you can, like, if you have your weapon, and you can somehow maximize your understanding of that weapon, let's speed that up, um, what do you call it? There, there's an opening that, that every weapon can kind of have, um, so if you pay attention, you can memorize what weapon can get through what opening. Um, and of course, with my hockey stick, which I've used forever, um, I've memorized everything with the hockey stick, but everything but, but in a Kamas, of course. Um, but uh, with with this one, now I have a whole new like challenge aspect of being like, okay, now I gotta figure out what this thing's special window is, which I'm actually hyped for. <laughs> it's a new weapon learn. Um, but anyways, back to the Elgato, El Elgato Cam Link thing. Um, it's been like three months since I've backordered it because it just takes an eon to make, I guess. But this week, I finally got the go ahead that it uh, has been sent. So that is just fantastic. Also, this guy is blind, so we can charge up until we're blue. And uh, we might, might one shot him if he's not too quick. And yes, how much is that? How much was that? Okay, so another thing that you gotta know about the flail is something I mentioned not in the videos where we were playing uh, against certain things, whatever it was. Okay, so the flail to me is, is incredibly, f f like, finicky. <laughs> uh, reason why is because, um, okay. So the flail, it starts off as, as this right here, this little tiny baby thing. Um, and it's still really good, but it only has that one metal bit. It only has the one flail, right? And then you, when you upgrade it, it, it has two. Sorry, I got Harper and I'm freaking out. <laughs> uh, it has two, which it's weird because when you hit an enemy, sometimes it's like 10,000 damage. Good job. But when I first started using it, I noticed that like it was one-shotting everything and it kept saying like 10,000 damage or 50,000 damage. And I was like, okay, but it's still like one-shotting things. So like that can't be right, right? Um, and then in editing, when you slow it down and you find like specific like instances where there's not a lot of effects going on like when you kill a boss sometimes it goes slow-mo and stuff like that um oh god damn it anyways when you slow it down you can see that there's two damage numbers popping off and that to me at least what i can make sense of it is is you're firing two flails so one does the be the damage that you've always been doing and then the other deals the what is it this goes from like i don't know even the more leveled up equivalents go to like a thousand damage to five thousand damage basically uh, so it gets crazy really fast. I mean to me that's what the damage is So it, it's weird because it looks like it's not doing a lot of times But then again, it's always killing things. So you're like what the heck's that about like why are you still? Eviscerating everything <laughs> if 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 uh, if you're only doing 10,000, you know, but with that being said um, This is one of those weapons that is all into one thing. So it's similar to the bowling crusher. This is all blunt So with that being said not a lot of weapons are resistant to blunt, you know 
yeah that's also another thing like not, like there's a very few most of the most of the armor sets that people upgrade are not that Woo! you just fucking mate just woo. oh shit that's not good you can take away my armor I haven't got a really good chance to show you guys the whole pairing system. We haven't kind of... Actually, I don't think we have been running past enemies. I guess we could just... Well, let's try to just, just kill some shit. Just so I can showcase the whole, like... What is it called? Like, openings and whatnot. But it's, again... As much as I love, like, everything that's, like... Everything's playing into itself. Like, again, this... I haven't really got a chance to show you guys what it's like against gunned... Gun enemies. Which... Oh, did he get me? Okay, so that's the thing. Um, not only is your attack unstoppable, but if you're able to get a perfect parry, you attain no damage. But if you do happen to get hit, um, you uh, you get a, redu a reduction to that damage on a passive, and it's quite a big reduction, I find. Like it's it's never enough that Bloodsucker can't eat through it and like be fine, like unscathed almost. Is that making sense? <laughs> I'm not sure, but yeah, I like the combination a lot. I just uh, again, well, like with us going into Tengaku, that's the weird thing, because in Tengaku you're up there for like pretty long time um so you need armor that lasts and even with my armor now i don't think it has enough durability to last that long up top side and you have to get to like you have to pass like 20 floors in order to get purple metals and stuff uh so in order to be effective you need to get you just you need to get at least that which i don't think my armor has 20 floors worth of durability on it so that worries me uh, so we may actually like as much as i would love to go into tangaku with this um i don't think i have enough armor too or durability and, and whatnot, but also I don't have enough experience with both of these weapons. Despite like I know why I chose them and I know why they complement each other, I don't know if I if I have all of the. Uh, uh oh, uh oh. We gotta cancel that and run. Yeah, the range I knew wasn't good enough for that. Bang. Do we want to play with fire and go up there? Sure, why not? Bang! Yes, yeah, so it only says it does 38 damage on a critical, but that's not, that's not legit. Okay, well, I hear me here. I'm saying Medusa doesn't do shit, but apparently <laughs> she's got some teeth. My bad. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, actually, we need that. We need that for something. The glasses or something. Um, pfft. we don't need DOD in hindsight. Roll. We're just killing things. Did my voice track there? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I mean, yeah, just because I don't want to trash my uh, durability. Let's go fight. Um, let's go do a TDM defense raid thing. Where I think one character is, is uh, plus five or whatever. <laughs> it's tough, basically. Ooh, also, there's more enemies to the right. Let's go do that. Ooh, and it, doesn't, it fires up quick enough. You know what I mean? If you really need to get an attack in. But you're much better off... Um, also, you're quiet, technically, when you're spinning this up, which is awesome, because you're slowly walking, which is technically a silent, I guess, even though they can hear the foo, 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 foo thing. <laughs> don't ask questions, it's fine. I don't think we need anything down there, right? There's no aluminum alloy, we can't hold it either. So, I know there's just cloth, okay. Uh, yeah, let's go to the, the TDM, not, not the TDM, sorry, my TDM defense, so that I can show you guys what it's, because, again... I can get by in terms of melee shit. Like, there's not many weapons that are absolutely insane. Um, and sp actually, the the positive is that this weapon actually gets around some of the ones I actually have trouble with, which is like the uh, the saber, the like little pokey thing. That one still gets me on on occasion. Of course, my issue is the guns. Uh, so I was hoping that Medusa would be that salvation, but uh, what do you call it? I find uh, the AI doesn't puke as much. Like, you have to get a lot of distance before they're like, okay, you know what I mean? They're not as janky as they once were, or a lot of the haters up top side just happen to have a poison eater, which actually, maybe mine does too. That's less good. <laughs> that's that's a little shitty. Um, I mean, yeah. Uh, if 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 mine does have a poison eater on them, let's go to the TDM and fight like a seventy um person just to see if like if me my full loadout everything can get by. And this isn't, by the way, not even my perfected character. Maybe I should have waited to do this video, <laughs> but um, all of these weapons, uh, sorry, give me a minute. All of these weapons um, play off of strength. We are currently on and all rounded. So hopefully 
Uh, we will all we'll be very very consistent with one-shotting bosses not almost one-shotting them although we did one-shot uh gato so you know or uh cohen sorry and yeah we don't necessarily need this i don't think this helps that much in terms of strength and whatnot but yeah yeah also you could add just some like general attack ones which i think i have even so could be crazy i don't know <laughs> obviously i have no clue defense simulation let's begin uh, I, yeah, one is 124. I do believe he's still a collector, <laughs> so it's not like, boo, <laughs> kind of levels of get out of my face, but it's something. <laughs> it's, it's something. And again, this is mainly what I'm trying to show you guys is the idea I had with this combination with guns, because again, the flail I think can take care of me with, with melee, but it's the guns that I was hoping that Medusa would be able to help me out with. Also, you can go ahead and activate your, your thing. There we go. Bang. See, that's that's the gun. That's the gun, and so so hard to dodge. Yes, go for that person. No. Maybe I shouldn't let the thing happen. Ooh, that didn't that wasn't even enough to kill you. What happened there? Are you healing from that? Well, I don't even think the TDM has a special healing effect. No, you're getting damaged, so I don't have a heal thing on you. Please go for that guy. That does stagger you a little bit, but I'm not sure if that's enough. That's enough, for sure, because my armor is specifically weak to blunt. And you don't do enough damage to beat my one thing. That does. <laughs> that does, for sure. God damn it. Tuba really makes everything goddamn nuisance. There. Finally, we can fight a little. Oh, wait, no, I gave you a broken weapon. Right, right. Anyways. There we go. See, it doesn't do that much damage. and You don't puke. See? This is the annoying part with the TDM raids. Why don't you puke? What if I run away from you? Anything? Give you a lot of birth? Yes. Yeah, it used to be very aggressive in terms of the puking. Or, like, the, the poison effect. And now I'm waiting. Also, I think sometimes your your uh, both of your things don't impact, and that's what where like the less damage things happen. But yeah, see that that's what that was my plan is to like okay, I have a, a ranged poison weapon that also stacks with strength. So if I ever have a striker, this is the perfect striker build. But poison doesn't affect them in the same way that it used to in the TDM, which is unfortunate. Affects people who aren't armored, of course. But yeah. So yeah, 39,000 damage. Didn't even charge it up. But yeah, we didn't lose any armor. Because uh, this is our C TDM defense, which is why I do it like that way. I don't want to have to go into the TDM and, you know, break my shit. But, um, yeah. See, that? They, I mean, I don't even need to go to TM because you guys could see what I was saying. Like, that was the plan. Like, I was like, okay, well, how do you make, like, a striker class that is viable when coming up against, like, a straight-up, solid-as-hell dexterity build with the Kamas with uh double barbarians that amplify the kamas with critical stuff like how do you get past that you know with with a full armor on that's you know pretty decent how do you get past that is there a way because i know rock ba beats uh, scissors but i don't know any way that scissors can beat rock i, I should switch that <laughs> because yeah of course rock being the uh the the uh, melee equivalent in this instance where like i know a kamas can whittle down a uh a a, a melee character, right? Because you just keep your distance, shoot them, get on a platform, shoot them when they're trying to get up, jump down, that kind of thing. Whereas with a melee person, like, if you try to get on a platform, they'll just be like, okay, idiot, I'll shoot you from here. Like, what do you... There's no way to, like, get them unless... Like, even if you do the move where you wait behind a corner, um, they're, they could see you and just be like, roll away instantly. And you're like, ah, okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, within some instances, the flail is really good in that instance because... Even if they roll away, you could used to have enough reach to get them around the corner. But, um, again, the idea was, okay, well, I can poison them. Like, bang, they'll puke, and then that will be my opening. Um, and I can just keep, like, doing that same thing. Uh, but, what, that doesn't happen anymore. Or maybe it's just in the TDM, but I don't, I even in, even up top side, I don't feel like that happens anymore. I feel like poison isn't, isn't this, like, oh, we shit, we're infected, we need to, you know, purge. And so it's like, ah, this damage doesn't mean anything, so why would I why would I care? Which was like, well, you would care because you're an AI, and that's the only advantage that we have, and it's an advantage that's earned because it's an advantage that you'd see over the course of playing, that poison has affected AI in this way and doesn't affect us in this way because we have that insight. Um, but, yeah, uh, again, the idea was 
you throw uh, Medusa, even if the poison, even if they happen to have poison eater, uh, Medusa's head is a limited thing, or not limited, it's a limited ranged thing. So say if a person's all the way over there, you throw it, and then you start dodging, um, you try to get, get through the Kamas, and then finally when it impacts, they would stagger, and that'd be when you'd go in. But even in practice, it, like, it sounds great, but it's not... That's not how it works, at least in my experience. Maybe maybe I'm not doing something right, but I've tried that in the past, and I remember vividly that it's like, nah, not really. I mean, if anything, when you're running at them, the AI will take that into consideration, um, and it will start rolling away or like getting distance, and then Medusa's head's base speed isn't that an, isn't enough. Or if you amplify your speed by hitting the trigger again, which eats durability, um, it will still it will miss because it's going too quick almost at that point. But that was the idea for the build. Again, with the new uh, realization that gunners don't really affect, or like, eh, eh, what do you call it? Intelligent haters are not really affected by poison anymore. That's the issue. And again, none of my people had poison eater, which would, of course, whenever an, a, a person has poison eater, they no longer f are affected by negatively by poison. So it's a good thing. But uh, yeah, what do you call it? Even if they weren't affected by poison, I still thought there was hope in Medusa's head because it would stagger them, uh, at least, so that that could at least get you, like, that plus the melee hit, and then you could just try to survive. Didn't mean to do that, but, um, yeah, even, like, uh, rolling around, like, like, when I was fighting my, uh, my gunner, with me booking it this way, like, just hard turning, trying to keep my eyes on him, like, getting the most distance, like, left to right that I could, he still got, like, a few hits on me, and I was like, alright, and again, they're like shittier at a range, but that was the last thing that, in my opinion, the Kamas needed for a debuff is their accuracy. Because as soon as you get closer, you fall apart, which again, that was the issue, is that you have a thing, it's like, again, it's not a rock beats scissors, it's a rock beats everything, and scissors has zero hope, which was hoping, again, if you added a burst fire mode onto the Kamas or any, like, range weapon, even at this point, I've noticed that the, uh, what is it called? The, uh, ah, what is it? Damn it, me. Crossbow. The crossbow launcher has that same thing. Um, except the crossbow, actually, I would say is a little bit more fair, even though when it crits, it knocks you down to pee, and it knocks you apart, but at least the crossbow has that bang, bang, bang opening. Bang, bang, bang. So you just need to dodge those three, even though the auto lock on, there's still no real way for you to dodge the three unless you, like, you want to roll, which will just eat your stamina apart, and then when you get to them, by the time you throw a, uh, an attack, you're most likely going to be out of stamina and trapped almost for them to lay you light you up with this uh, assault rifle or the uh crossbow sorry i'm just trying to think by the way for the what was what was this two minutes of talking or five minutes of talking just now grand it was me trying to figure out what like how, like that's been the conversation i've been having with myself when i was in let it die like i've recently took a little bit of break to get my my breath catch my breath again but this is the conversation i was having with myself way way beforehand where i was just like how do we get through that like how are we gonna push through that and again i think the answer is that it's like for most people that have just you haven't gotten through it that's a thing like you don't get through it you just build armor enough to tank it which to me isn't like to me i love going in the tdm with zero fucking armor on and just because i know every combination of attack patterns i can get through that kamas doesn't have one um same thing as the uh what do you call it the what is it called the crossbow in my opinion, it's not quite long enough. The bang, 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 bang. I mean, I, where the crossbow has less of a ammo reserve, so you can't bait out the reload. And the crossbow, in my, uh, I don't think it can be, uh, you can't cancel roll like you can with the assault rifle, which is the biggest problem with the assault rifle is when you do get to them, even if you're able to tank a little bit of damage, you're able to get to them, they still have the opportunity to be like, and I'm rolling away, and I'm rolling away, and I'm rolling away. And it's like, well, at least if I got to you, that would be my victory, right? So you could lay, you could rip me apart. But when I get to you, at least I got you. Instead, it's like, well, no, I can just fuck off and roll away and fuck off and roll away. And then it's like if you block and try to move towards them, you're still ripping apart your armor. So they're still just eventually going to kill you. You know what I mean? Anyways, <laughs> uh, but this is like, this is the, this is not me being like, fuck the game. It's me being like, how do I beat it? How do I find a way to like, 
do this and then I was like okay well what if we use Medusa's head and poison them because that will activate that but then they nullify that so I was like okay well maybe we can use it as a as a like as a deterrent to where we can run and get on top of them because uh, when it eventually impacts they do stagger a little bit and then we can jump on and hit them but again that's not how it works because uh, because the, at, when you're running towards them they're like oh fuck off and they start rolling away um, and Medusa's head's like oh I can't get to you because I'm a little baby and I'm too slow and I'm like fuck <laughs> Anyways, uh, love the, the character aesthetic and all that. I, I th Again, the melee weapon is a ton of fun. I can't wait to start actually using it again because for the longest time, it's one of those weapons that does okay at its later tiers, but but then when it gets to its final tier, it's like, pfft, it's like crazy. So that was me trying to get to it. So I'm happy that I can finally mess around with like the one that means business. The one that is basically just a better version of my murderous hockey stick, except a little bit less, a little bit slower, but also has other redeeming qualities. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Um, I've been wanting to make this video for like three months, but that damn special medal evaded me so that I couldn't build the damn flail, the S rank, but I'm happy now that I got it. And it honestly is, is acting. It's great. It's fantastic. Yeah, and it has decent durability and all those things. Can't wait to bring it to plus five and get that durability uh, tip topped, even though it asks for an armor leg to level up this version of it, but I will try. <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Subscribe button above, above me. I bit my lip, which is why it threw me off. <laughs> Two videos to my right. Thank you so much for your time. Again, if anyone knows how to like, like actually like rock, paper, scissors, the Kamas with, with a melee weapon, then please, <laughs> then please, or, or now the crossbow. Um, but you know, I'm a broken record at this point. I've been mentioning all those things for too long now, and it clearly is, is something that they're not wanting to stop, um, or fit or like address. Cause then maybe again, maybe no one thinks it's the problem and it's just little old me. That's a fair, I guess. Uh, I'm, the world doesn't revolve around me and all that. But anyways, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and goodbye.